Hey guys, Glenn Murray, Glenn Murray Online. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're surviving this crazy, every country in the world getting shut down. No, no, not not exactly, but yeah, it's cra pretty crazy. Uh, anyways, I got my, my phone is ringing here. Um, so today's topic is how to drive traffic to your blog. And I'm going to give you top, top three affiliate hacks. And this is going to be really easy. Guys, here's the reality. If you want to make money online, first, subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure you hit the notification. But really, you need to have a blog. You need to have a website. You have to have a website. Yes, you can have landing pages and you can have click funnels and funnels and all those fun things. I highly recommend having them. But you also need a blog. You need like a home base. You you, you need multiple um you need multiple multiple places online if you're going to make money because sometimes you're going to go want to uh, promote a product that's not congruent with your brand of your main website. So you're, you're you're going to want to have another either a mini a microsite a little landing page or maybe you're going to flush out like say you're going to sell something like um, I don't know uh, my my business partner is doing great selling battery ref refurbishment right so maybe you want to do that so what you're going to do is you're going to make a mi microsite about just about that that sort of um mi microsite like like a, about refurbishing batteries and you're going to drive traffic to it and these are the three things i'm going to show you how to drive traffic to these sites and it's actually not that hard but so many people make the mistake of basically joining an affiliate program and all they do is they send people to their affiliate link they 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 don't make themselves a valuable part of the process of someone getting that information so it's there's nothing tying that person to you so when you go to make another recommendation they're not going to remember that you recommended that right they're just going to be like oh here's a link right they, 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 they can't make the association so what you have to do is you have to create authority and by creating authority means you have a presence you have a, an opinion you have um, posts that you've written or videos you've done that that shows people that you you actually know a little bit about what you're talking about you don't have to know a lot but you know a little bit more than them and you're that the, you're that much further ahead people aren't looking to get an a university degree in something online they just want to know how to do something that someone else has done that they've gotten some success success that's what they're looking for they're not looking to go and spend an entire time well there are some people and they're going to go they're not going to, to come to your blog they're probably going to go to udemy or whatever it is and they're going to do full-blown trainings now if you want to go down that path that's great go down that path start creating training start creating courses all that kind of stuff but when you when you do that you need to have some some sort of in the trenches experience right you need to know how you're going to teach these people what you what you what you know the knowledge that you know so you have to you have to sort of go because like if it's not working for you then how do you teach that yes you can teach some stuff just by learning it and then passing it on but really what you want to do is you want to learn something try it have success you don't need a lot of success you don't have to be like oh yeah i'm making a million dollars now from it no it's like hey i tried this method and i got you know 10 sales out of it and it's awesome so here's the method that i recommend doing or you know i've been slowly ramping this up and it takes time and, and guys here's the reality it takes time it takes time. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Sorry, there's no overnight magic bullet unless you want to spend a ton of money on advertising. But even that, here's a great example of living right in our time. Mike Bloomberg just spent a half a billion dollars. He's not the nominee. So you know what I mean? Like, like as much as you want to spend all that money, it still may not get you the result you want. What you need to do is you need to build a, a a a foundation, right? You need to go in there and, and and build just like you know Biden and 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 um, Sanders have been doing all along, and all the other candidates. I'm just talking about the Democrats because it's just relevant in the news right now because they're running. Everyone's talking about them. <clears throat> So if you use that example, those guys have been building their base, right? So you can be building your base. So how do you build your base? You need a website. People need to be able to find you, need to know about you, need to learn about you, right? 
what's great, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little uh, a, a program at the end of this. It's really awesome because it really shows you how to build your authority. I'm also gonna put some links in that I use in order to build up my authority. I have like you know five thousand people on on Facebook that follow me. I have uh, twenty thousand plus people on Twitter that follow me. Right, my my blog gets great traffic. Um, I I make sales daily. My affiliate programs get sales. So it's 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 a matter of of building but all this stuff didn't happen overnight it took time to build this stuff up so let's get into um the ways to build your traffic so number one hack you need to do is i don't care what anybody says you need your facebook page rocking because you know what facebook keeps changing everything and if you're going to be doing business on your personal profile at some point they're probably going to turn it off even when you have a business page they turn them off too so no matter what, remember that your, your I think, your Facebook um, account is probably kind of a, a liquid account that may or may not last. So you have to remember that. So you don't want to put all your eggs in your basket, in one basket. But what you do want to do, there's, there's a, there's a, the uh, first, um, actually, there's a link to all my resources for for creating blog and stuff like that. So there's a PDF download, but there's a link to a, to a free course, a free training on how to get more fans, how to build up your your Facebook fan page, and this is totally white hat. This is not buying likes and anything like that. This is actually getting down and providing content to people and they're going to come and and find your page and they're going to follow your page i have multiple pages i just uh in one in in less than a day i think i'm almost at 100 likes on a brand new page i just launched i just launched it right i just like literally it was like boom launched it and it was just like people started liking it because i've, I've built up authority right and this is what you need to do. So don't think, oh, well, yeah, that's because you built up authority. No, we all started at the same spot. We all started at the same place. So number one, you need to go do this training. So click it. It's called More Fans, More Sales. It's You need that training and you will learn uh, exactly how to um, build your Facebook fan page. Now, you can watch the training, but there is a membership site and it's... Um, if you want to join it, I highly recommend it. I believe I believe in membership sites that tra that have ongoing training. I recommend you training that. It has a great affiliate program, but it, more important, it has training every single week. They're always bringing in what's new, what's happening, what's shutting down, what's not working, right? Because you might be trying something and you're like, wow, why isn't this working? And the pros are going, ah, that stopped working a while ago and you don't want to be wasting any time. So that's why I recommend belonging to that membership site. But the training is free, so go and you can watch the video exactly how to do it, how to grow your fans. So that's number one. Make sure you go do that and start building your, your Facebook page or multiple Facebook pages. If you have multiple businesses, you want to be having multiple Facebook pages. Uh, number two is you need your Twitter. So why I love Twitter and people, people get so like, it's so bizarre. You know, so many people, ah, oh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. no. Twitter is amazing. Now, the, 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 the concept behind Twitter, what I love, is that it's a news feed. And if you treat it like a news feed, it's very, very valuable. It's so valuable. And what you do is you, you need a, a, a software. And I've got, um, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll throw my, um, I'll throw my, my, my YouTube video on, on how to grow it and also another program. But I highly recommend there's different tools and some tools have turned off and some turn on. So if you're watching a, if you're watching a, a training ever in any of this stuff, if you're ever watching a training and they're talking about a tool that no longer works because the main company uh, t said to, that they don't want to use that, let that tool be used anymore, just find another tool that's doing it because it just, um, it's the concept is what you're looking at. You're not necessarily the tools. And I've been using the same tool for my Twitter um, uh, feed because it's all my Twitter is completely automated, guys. I get a ton. I get signups every single day from to from Twitter, and it's completely automatic. All I do is I add a new post every day. I put it into another queue, and then that just starts, and it's always ongoing. So what you want to do is you want to you want to sort of build up a, a rotation of posts on Twitter, and have it so it's like every you know ten or twelve days it starts that routine again. But during that time. 
you're always adding to it so that 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 rollover is getting longer and longer and you have lo more and more content and as that content goes through people different people are finding it right people are finding it different people are finding it and your twitter audience grows then you also need to have a follow and unfollow uh twitter technique when you're starting out to get your your numbers up right and then you're going to probably max out at some point you, you'll max out at a certain number and you can continue to do the follow unfollow or you just basically um, keep providing content, and your and your 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 Twitter account will still grow organically as long as you're as you're, as long as you're providing good content. And that's where it comes to blogging. You guys need to put out really good content. So that's number two. And number three, guys, the channel you're watching right now, YouTube. You need to have a YouTube channel. You need to be um, pumping this stuff out and telling people and, and directing people back to your blog. You'll notice in in some of my links. It actually goes. It goes through my blog. I use uh, a, a plugin called Pretty Link on my blogs, and it goes through my blog. So I'm getting traffic that's hitting and, and and being redirected. Now, is that great for SEO? I don't know. I don't really care. It's just it's it's more traffic pinging my site, right? Or I'll send people to a review that's on my site before they go to that affiliate program. So I do I'll do many different ways, guys. But this is how I send traffic to my 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 blog. I my Facebook page is going sends traffic to my blog. My Twitter account is always sending traffic to my multiple blogs. I have a couple blogs, depending on what I'm talking about on my Twitter feed. Because I I kind of it's in the realm of make money online, but some of it's different, and some of it goes to strictly affiliate marketing, and some of it goes to network marketing. So I send stuff to different different blogs. And number three, YouTube is sending people sending traffic back to my blog or to my affiliate signups. Okay. So at, at the end here, I told you guys, now there is a, a I told you about one membership site with, with the training. Now there's another membership site that can really take you to be being an authority very, very quickly. Um, it's my number one uh, business online. What did I, what did I label it here in the, my notes here it's the it go down to the link that says the best way to make money online is by following the below training so 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 do to that go to that link sign up there's a little seven dollar course i think it's going to cost you i think it's seven dollars right now um you definitely want to be taking that course and going through it because that's going to give you a huge advantage over everyone else and if you're thinking about you want something that is going to be a quick start that is probably the quickest start that I know on really getting going um, on 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 when, in your online business. Now, do I recommend all the other stuff? Absolutely. Go through all this training. If you're starting out or you're struggling, take some time. You can go through all this training in the next, you know, probably in a, in in a in a couple of days. Just go through it, absorb it. Just go. Okay, I'm going to turn off everything. I'm not going to worry about. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to go through this training. I'm going to absorb it. And then I'm going to start implementing it. Or if you're someone that likes to implement as you go along, which sometimes I don't recommend because you get you get taken off track. It's almost better, in my opinion, is to watch all the training at once, absorb it, and then go back and watch the training while you're implementing it. That's how I work. And I tend to find that much, much better. Because I, I get like the, the, the sort of the all the broad sort of sort of information and I go oh I see I see I get okay I understand how all the puzzle pieces go together now I'm going to go um, back and I'm going to do it section by section just like doing a we're doing a bunch of jigsaw puzzles my girls are really in the jigsaw puzzles see jigsaw puzzles so I don't know how you do a jigsaw puzzle but we find the outside edges and then we find all the blue and then we find all the green and then we find all the yellow and then but we we and then once we've got all this sorted out and we've we've looked at all the pieces basically we start to put it together we implement it and that's what i recommend doing so look at all the all the puzzle pieces and then sort them out and then start implementing them going back looking at the guide doing the puzzle looking at the guide that's a good analogy. All right, guys, have a great night. Hope you're having it. I hope you're healthy. Um, if you've traveled to those crazy areas and you're quarantined, I'm very sorry about it. Um, it's it's crazy times we're living in. Apparently, you don't need to buy toilet paper. Um, we have tons of toilet paper. We live down the road from a paper processing plant. And they're like, I don't know why all these people are buying all this toilet paper. We've got millions of rolls or whatever. So you don't need to buy toilet paper, guys. Anyways. 
have a great night and I will see you later. Bye.